no choice but to slow down for a little bit. Right. Pie and chips instead of a nice roast dinner today because got sold stub substandard food at the shop. In a village where they keep trying to set me up. Because Boris has got his little informer army all set up nice, the grey vote. Stasi land, Britain. Just watch the video, someone's been checking out. Me personally, nice place, some nice people there. But I never go backwards in life, I only move forward. Too much pain, painful memories, grief. Leave it behind and move on. Which is up why I'm up here living in my father's area rather than my mother's area. She wants the church and the uh, crown and all that bullshit. Lives in a crown religious house. What are you going to do when the crown falls down, mother? I'm trying to set up and kill your son. You've chose your sides, and that's why I don't live with you. Same type of people that I'm living amongst at the moment that are doing all the same shit. Can't be doing with it. That's why I've never settled down yet. Why the fuck would I want to? I'm leaving the UK behind now. We're sick of stuff getting sabotaged, aren't we, Roxy? Don't get this set up court case out of the way. Passport applied for. And then I'm going to move somewhere. First for a holiday to check it out, see if I like it or not. And then uh, I'm going to make plans to emigrate there because I'm sick to death of what this country's become. It used to be a lovely place. But it's been destroyed bit by bit. Seems to be whatever's being done here is trying to make me relive over and over again what's been done. Right? So if I've been gassed in my, in my bed, on this bed, through that window, from behind that fence there, deliberately, and then the first time I see him after uh, Snatch is passing, it's the first thing he did. Gets the fucking strimmer out in Margaret's fucking garden and baits me with it, waiting for a reaction.
just another setup, isn't it? So no, I'm not trying to lead anyone down the garden path. I have no other motives. By Roxy. If I'm lucky, she's got a couple of days worth of season left. And I'm out of action. And that's my finances until payday on Wednesday. So I can't do shit. But if you see my thinking, the puppies would have sorted out Tyler's home education system out. Either a laptop or a decent computer. No point giving him that one over there. It's a fucked up computer. I'm having to work around it to use it. That one's not top notch enough for him to be educated on. We can do it on that, but you know, if he's not going to be over here, because as we know, you have too much fun with the fathers and the grandfathers, then the grandmother and the mother start focusing it all on them. The me, 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 you know? Same old shit, really. So, I've got nothing to hold me here. So, I want to go and enjoy sunny Canada. Or snowy Canada. Roxy in here. Good girl. Yeah, the paying levels are quite high at the moment, so I've had to stop because I'm I'm just not taking any fucking codeine for it. Simple as that. I'd rather go with that until I can source a bit of bud out. When it's safe to do so. Because obviously uh, they're waiting for a mistake at the moment. And I'm not playing along with it. I can see exactly through all of their little dirty schemes. And I'm just not having that. And I'm not involving my mates in it either. So that's why no one comes here. Because they also know it's a trap as well. So. Let them think I'm isolated and on my own. And then when these hyenas around me. Start taking the piss. Start endangering my life or my animal again. Watch how quick they all die and get fed on. And I'm being deadly serious about that. I'm sick to death of what's been going on here. It's got to stop. There is no forgiveness. They know exactly what they've done. And they've tried to paint me mad while they've been doing it. Just to get away with it. Like good little subjects, Boris is in informer army. Like something out of fucking Lion King, isn't it? You know what I mean? Well, that's not the England I want to live in.
no change on that. <coughs> yeah, don't be fooled by the tone in my voice. I'm not depressed or anything like that. It's a sinus thing. Right. You can look at my chicken pie and chips. The curry sauce, but yeah, look, they're sitting in the shed now, waiting for the music to go back on. <laughs> so predictable they're getting. Carpet freshener. That's got to have another coat of paint. So that's in here before it gets cleaned off. And then I shall start painting that. So I've got plenty to do. And I'm going to potter around doing... The bits of the door. Give it another coat. And the kitchen door as well, excuse me. There's only one of me here, so. <laughs> I'm just making sure after they was hanging about over the green now, just making sure there's no fingerprints or glove smudges. Can't wait to get away from this place in this country, mate. I really can't. Before it kills me. Which is kind of what they're up to. Oh dear. A minor spike. And again, the code present in the back of it at 24 hertz. So, I've done a little bit out in the garden. I'm, uh, I'm not going to be doing anything else today because I need to rest up. I've been walking about on that broken toe. Protecting Tyler while the Queen's in town with Roxy. Threatening to sell my grandson, eh? Yeah, yeah but you fucking got that wrong, didn't you? Run, Harry, run.